Hello again everyone, as usual I'm Buff Button. Today we are back with another episode of our Stone Block 3. Uh, so last episode, uh, we kind of uh, had a problem in that uh, I had to re-record it. And then I kind of, uh, I guess, showed you guys around what we did in the uh, failed recording. Um, we still have this whole mess over here, which, wow, that fire really spread a lot, didn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Um, I should go and clean that stuff up eventually, but that's a problem for another day. Um, let's see. What? I don't think I've checked out one of these things yet, whatever that thing even is. It's literally right freaking here. Why have I not checked it out? Whatever. Okay. Um, we do still need to challenge this dungeon. We still need to challenge this a little bit. Uh, we briefly explored uh, the boss area here anyway uh that sucked we could try and explore these grassy areas and see what's in there um then i would like to try and get into uh a little bit more power because uh as you see i did expand a bit more off camera i think i expanded more i don't think i did this on camera what is that that's an egg why is there an egg flying back and forth where are the eggs? There they are. What the frick? What is that now? Okay, there's magma slime, is that? Why was there magma slime? And what is that one? Almost looks like soul sand. There we go. Okay. I don't know why all that stuff was messed up, but whatever. Anyway, um, as you guys see, I did expand the, uh, the system here a little bit. I did actually take down all of our chests finally. Everything is now in our system here. Uh, all of the junk that we had. Uh, I did put another chest over here with our more important items. Um, I made a couple more Tinker's Constructs, uh, Tinker's Construct books. Um, I'm putting all of our loot crates in here for now. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, something I want to try though. I want to make this, uh, wait, do we not have wool? Is there not like a wool chicken? Really? Or does the system not realize that, uh, hold on. I don't have any wool, that's weird. Okay. Let's just... I, sh I should have just crafted a stack from the beginning. I don't know why I did it this way. Okay. Um, so let's do this, boom. Okay. That stick away. So... Apparently you use this mob swap, uh, a mob swab, just on any random old mob. Okay. Wait, what? Craft with a bucket and seeds? Oh, I see. Oh, it needs to be a bucket of XP. Ugh. Um... How do I do that? Hmm. How do I get a mob egg? Huh. Interesting. Entity spawner. Yeah, so I assume that would go into the, uh... Spawner thing there. No. Whatever. So we need to try and figure out how to get a bucket of essence. Really, the only thing is this way, it seems, maybe. Unless this is... That might be it. Because, like, in open blocks, there is the, um, like, the, the grate. 
That's missing a lot. Okay, Eyes of Ender. Also missing the Singularity Tank. Go. Okay. Is this the one where you can just step on it then? Just put it right there. It is! Okay. So it was replaced with that then. Okay, so one level gets you 140. Okay. okay, so we now have enough for a bucket. Uh, additionally, I would like to make the tap. Okay, because now I can do that to get the stuff back. Nice. And then we need seeds, I guess? Uh-oh. That's a mess. Where did I put the seeds? Right. Okay. So now... Do that. Why did it... God dang it, whatever. Okay, so now we use this to give to a chicken. Now it does say it contains the chicken DNA, so I wonder if you need to make it with like a different DNA. I think we just found out how we get uh, mob spawn eggs. Is it actually his birthday? That's weird. <laughs> okay, so by doing that, we can get um, uh, spawn eggs for various different things to put into the spawner. Where was the spawner? There it is. Okay. And then there's this one here. Creates a rotten egg. And then here's a golden egg. I don't know what either of those are. Oh, we need four for that. Four for that. Okay, so let's not worry about that for now. We're finally eating our last baked potato. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to just put this in here for now as well. Okay. Um... I'm just going to put those in there for now. I don't think there's anything else too terribly important in here yet. I I feel like this is important. Oh, we are going to need it for that later on. Okay. Oh, there's a rotten egg, and that's a golden egg. Interesting. Spawn some more hostile mobs. Okay. Uh, will snow cap at night if exposed to the sky? Light level bef uh, below 10 stops creature mob spawns. Wait, light level below 10 stops... Oh, so if it's dark, it's not going to spawn like chickens and stuff like that. Okay, interesting. Good to know. All right, uh, but anyway, um, I did want to work on getting this stuff here. Oh, that's not cool. Can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Good. All right, so let's just get one of each of these for now. Oh. Okay. Now, this thing is a little bit difficult to auto-craft, unfortunately. So we're going to have to try and figure out a way of doing that. But... Oh, right, I didn't even show you. Duh. Um, because I did do a little bit of extra work with um, uh, refined storage, we are now using 150 FE per tick. Um, which we were not creating before. I actually completely run out of power. Um, so what I have now done is I put four of these thermal generators surrounding a energy cell. Uh, there's one underneath this block here. Uh, they're all obviously powered. They all have water 
all that kind of jazz. Um, I would like to upgrade all this stuff sooner or later. That way we don't need to have four, but whatever. Um, for this thing, though, this thing basically just goes on a block, like on a power source like that, and then that goes there. So that is already connected. What we now need to do is we need to get energized steel, which is iron and gold. Unfortunately, you can't just put like a stack of each in there, or at least you couldn't in the last version I played. Okay, so it does let you do that. Oh, and someone's actually coming in my room. Give me a second here. Alrighty, I apologize. Uh, my little sister just needed my help with something. Uh, but anyway, as you see, uh, it did now create the uh, energized steel. But again, you have to like put it in one by one. Uh, you can see this cool little beam here. That beam does actually change color as you upgrade the uh, rod, so that's kind of cool. Um, now, automating this specific crafting recipe is not hard. Uh, this specific recipe is very easy. Unfortunately, as you get higher and higher, like you see this one requires four obsidian. Unfortunately, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll either put in too much obsidian or it won't put enough. Alternatively, if you do queue multiple things at once, like let's say you queue this emerald recipe and this uh, uraninite ore recipe, uh, it will put both of them in at the same time, and then it won't be able to craft anything. So, yeah. Either we might have to create multiple different uh, orbs if we want to do different recipes, or we're going to have to try and figure out some other way of doing this. So, yeah, and like, for example, this one here, that's not going to work easily. Um... Why would you do this hold on 90,000 times 9 should not be 900,000 so this is still the better way of doing it oh you can make blocks of this ooh See, this is good, because this is 90,000, this is 10,000. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, so th this whole thing is just a little bit tricky to actually automate properly. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to try and either work out a way of doing that, or just find another way of doing that to get it actually to work. Um, let's see. We did get... Oh, I see. This was one thing itself. Okay. There we go. Um, so there is that, yeah. There we go. Eh, I'll keep that there for now. Okay. Uh, there was something else I was going to do. I don't remember what now, though. Frick. Huh. Dang it. Right. Um, I actually wanted to go try and get uh, some Wither Skeleton Skulls. There we go. 
Oh, another stick. Okay. But yeah, now that we have, um... Uh... Like, decent armor and a decent sword. We should be able to come in here and... Oh god, those are brutes. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, this is not good. I didn't think there would be brutes in here. Okay, let's get the netherrack ready. Good. Okay. Not horrible. Oh. Interesting. Okay. And see, the problem is, things in the, uh, the nether biome here will keep on spawning even if it is lit up. Oh, what the frick? Mushroom rice? Abjuration essence. What? Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, there was only one uh, thing there. I was more worried that it was going to be like a chain reaction. That's why I wanted to get everything and like get out of there just in case it blew everything else up. But since it didn't, I suppose we can just put this right back down and put everything back in. That is mine. That is also mine. Okay. Now, are all of these going to be uh, uh, explodey chests? Let's find out. Oh, wait. I need my netherrack just in case. Oh, there's ancient debris in the walls. That's actually good because um, we actually need some... Oh, boy. That thing spawns from a long way away. We actually need ancient debris for a, a few different crafting recipes. So getting that would be very helpful. Okay. So that one is available. Unfortunately, these guys are all over. And these guys aren't even able to be distracted by gold. So I can't even wear gold just to make them be like, oh, he's fine. He's a friendly. Okay. See, what I would like to do is to get in there and place down some blocks in order to make sure they can't get to me. Actually. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, that's unfortunate. I didn't realize they could burn on magma uh, slime. Arctic dampening? The frick does that mean? Okay. Alright, so he didn't really give me much, but whatever. Okay, I need to get in there and block this area off, dude. No, oh, God! Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, luckily enough, that's why we have this teleporting system. Which is not foolproof. Come on. I should have done this every 63 blocks, dude. Because every 64 blocks like it is, is a little bit annoying. Okay. Get the frick out of there! Okay. Okay, not horrible, not horrible, not horrible. Okay, good. Now, unfortunately, this thing is still dark. 
And I was gonna say, they can probably still spawn, but... They should be able to spawn less, hopefully. Nice. Okay. Should I break it? I I'm, I'm gonna break it, because these guys don't really give us much. What the frick? Why is it this hard to break, man? That guy's fast. Okay, this Blaze needs to die just because he's loud and annoying. Oh, dear lord. Oh, god, it's a boss man. It's the fast boss man. How am I faster than him? Oh, well, that was an easy boss fight. <laughs> well, how did he die that easily, dude? Actually, we don't need that. Or, whoops. We don't need that or that. Yeah, don't really need that either. Okay. Out. There we go. Okay. Now, was there anything down here, really? Bruh. Yeah, there's a lot of um, uh, ancient debris down here. So if we actually need any, it should be pretty easy to do something about. There we go. Okay, I don't really care about that. I don't really care about that. Is this actually useful for anything, really? I can cook it. No. Okay. Don't need that. Okay. So this end is pretty good. That is a trapped chest. That's TNT right there. Okay. Um. Warm silverfish shard. We actually do need that. Okay. Soul soil. I assume... I actually can make that, can't I? Okay, never mind. I would very much like that TNT, please. Okay. If I need more of this stuff, then I'll just come down here and get it, but for the time being, I don't really need much of it. Okay. Hi. Okay, netherite, don't need that. Warm silverfish shard. Okay. Okay. Debris, I might as well take that now. Okay. Ah, dick. Good. Okay. Alright. Now there are wither skeletons in here, but they're like further down. You know... This isn't necessarily the worst way of doing this. Unfortunately, the blazes are still able to shoot us. Hey. I can't reach him from here. Ow! God dang it, man. Okay, they're actually not hurting me much, so let's just go. He can be a nuisance. Okay, good. We don't have to worry about brutes anymore. Oh, that's right, I can stay under here, can't I? Inventory isn't generous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
That's unfortunate. Why did that happen? Crud. That's actually a little bit bad because I don't know how I'm gonna get my stuff back now. Crud. Huh. Can I break this from up here? Yes, okay, good. I didn't know if that would actually work or not. Why are all these blazes bosses? Let's just go in the middle. second I was like why the frick is there an enderman in here but then I'm like oh yeah they can spawn in the nether now can't they are you kidding me there the frick is that icor ball weird okay whatever all right what was that now can't even reach it from here. Bro! Get out of here! I can't even see the thing anymore. Oh god! Why am I dying? What happened? Can I not get them to fight each other? Like you can with, uh, like skeletons and zombies and whatnot? I would like to check this chest, please. Oh, yeah, okay. Ow! Ow! Oh my god. Okay, a lodestone? That's cool. Wither Skeleton Skulls, let's go! Okay, good stuff. Wait, I didn't even check that one yet. More! Holy crud! Okay. I was kind of expecting that we'd have to kill a lot of Wither Skeletons in here, but uh, clearly not. Okay, this is actually turning out to- Oh my god! No! That's awesome. Okay. Now the reason I'm doing this is so we can get, uh, nether stars. Uh, though the problem with getting nether stars- Why am I going so far? The problem with getting nether stars is I don't have a good way of killing a wither yet. Hmm. Dang it, I don't see anything that's really good for killing withers. Dang it. Oh well. Okay, so... Oh! Mostly everything despawned! Oh, what the frick! I didn't realize he could reach me. Oh, frick, I'm dead. I'm dead, 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 I'm dead. Oh my god.
Wow. Okay. This is actually going very well, if you do ask me. Okay, netherite scrap, I'll take that. Okay. Watch out so I don't look at those dudes. God dang it. Okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. <sighs> okay, I will take those as building blocks, though. Okay, is this, like, going down? Is that what this thing is? Freck! Huh! <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, so that goes down. Okay. That's Enderman. I'm gonna break that. Cause that seems uh, annoying. Hello. Oh dear god. This whole area just seems like a hole of horrible. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and then that. There we go. Okay. So I can continue through here without any real big issues. Uh, I believe that's more TNT under that one. Yeah, that's a locked one. Or a trapped one. Whatever. Oh, hello. Oh. Stop. Frick is that sound? Okay. Strength. Might not be horrible. Okay. Yeah, so- oh, I need 16 per spawn. Oof. I totally thought that was actually, like, a good amount of, uh, items, but clearly it is not. And mana blocks again. Awesome. Oh, that's why they were all spawning in there. Okay. These guys are only the normal piglins, though. I could probably get away with it if I was wearing golden armor. Dang it. Okay. Oh, how did I not see that? Yeah, see, these guys aren't going to aggro on me now. I'm going to rush in, light this area up a little bit, see what's waiting for me. Nothing? Weird. Teleportation? That's kind of cool, actually. All right. One is safe. That one is good. That one is safe. A cod spawn egg? Really? I wonder if I can, like, use that for something. No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, whatever. It's a spawn egg. I'll keep it. That's a little dangerous, though. Yeah, I don't see anything else in there. That's good. Okay. You know, actually... Ah! Oh, right, because I opened the chest near him. Okay. Okay. Alright, otherwise I am pretty good. Ah! Frick! Because I opened the chest. Oh, dear God. You guys suck! Alright, what, what's... Okay, you know what? I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. 
Frick, 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 frick. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah! God, look at those subtitles! Oh my god. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna quickly go get my stuff back and then we're gonna call it for today. Because we are already out of time. I could probably break these walls and these platforms and whatnot. So they don't seem like they are entirely necessary anymore. For the time being, anyway. Okay. Screw off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this doesn't seem horrible, though. Alright. I'm gonna wanna clean this area out, because it's messy. But, yeah. Seems doable. And we definitely left with a decent haul. Okay, there we go. Alright. So... Um, let's put our helmet back on. I'm going to want to repair these things because they're a little bit bad now. Um, I'm going to need to get more torches and stuff like that. Okay. We have 11. That is three withers we can try and fight. Uh, is there any kind of witherproof block? Wither glowstone... Let me... Oh, glass blocks designed to prevent light. Tough enough to withstand withers. Okay, what? Are you kidding me? That is... That is insanely easy. Okay. Alright, so I think I might get, like, a wither killing area ready for next episode, then. That is ridiculously- that is laughably easy! My god, okay. Well, anyway, um, yeah, that is where we're gonna have to end it, because we are going over on time. Uh, I might try and explore that thing a little bit more, see what kind of treasures it has. Um, yeah, I don't know. How many deaths? 16, okay. Um, but yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Got some stuff, um, getting a little bit further in the quests. Not terribly so, because I'm having fun exploring everything at the moment. Um, but yeah, that'll have to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day then. Goodbye.